It plunged off an interstate and landed in a creek, but tonight search crews still have not been able to find the driver of that semi. Police say the cab ended up submerged in the water when the semi ran off Interstate 64 near Owingsville in Bath County this morning. Crews even brought in divers and an underwater camera to help in the search. Kristen Kennedy has the very latest in our top story at 6. Rescue teams have spent all day trying to recover the body of the person driving this tractor trailer. A witness called 911 a little before 5 this morning to tell first responders a tractor trailer driving westbound had gone off the road. They said they saw headlights and saw them veer, veer off, off the shoulder of the highway in, into the median. Larry Ferris with Kentucky State Police says the driver hit the sidewall of this bridge and landed cab first into the murky water below the road. It took several hours before they could get the trailer out of the water. They say it was carrying auto parts, electric transmissions. The cab, though, is still under water. Normally, you put a diver in the water, and it would go down and actually uh, affix a cable to, to the, uh, the object you want to, to retrieve. Right now, rescue crews only have a camera in the water, but they're hoping to put divers in to speed up the recovery of that cab before it gets too, too dark. With the camera, eight of the cameras they're going to use to try to find something on the truck to where they can hook a cable to. Once they get a cable hooked to it, uh, it should go a lot quicker. Crews won't be able to recover the cab once the sun goes down, but Ferris says they will not leave Slate Creek until they find the driver. In Bath County, Kristen Kennedy, WHYT 27 News First. And state police do not think high winds played a role in that crash.